Y'all, so Destiny Dirty Neck Ass then went on the damn interview and doubled down on saying that she could have had Mel and Martell. Girl, uh, <laughs> what is going on? How, how y'all weekend been? I'm just here so I won't get fined. And because I was looking like a, a cinnamon bun today <laughs> with my new chocolate hair. Exactly. But I've been seeing what's going on on these YouTube streets. <laughs> Between Destiny and Jennifer Williams' child, the beautiful women of the world, y'all are taking the biggest L this month. <laughs> y'all taking the big, y'all taking the biggest L since Nicki Minaj went on that rant about his and Megan girl. Anyway, but we gonna talk some shit, child. We gonna talk a little bitty shit while I wait on my friend so I can have dinner. And as soon as I get done talking to y'all, whether she here or not, I'm finna go in there and order my cocktail and my little salmon salad, child. Anyway, so welcome back. <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like my channel. I'm only 25 subscribers away from 7,000 subscribers. So please share, send my video to your little homegirls or whatever. Y'all know I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday. Exactly. Help a bitch out. So first. What we gonna talk about first? So I'm gonna talk about the Jennifer shit, all of that drama. Y'all know Carlos King was there. Evelyn, big forehead ass, had something to say. And I also want to talk about Brashear Gray. For those of y'all who don't know who Brashear is, I always get too long. For those of y'all who don't know who Brashear is, he is Hakeem from Empire. And I talked about this in another video, but a lot of y'all came for me in the comments because I was talking about Didi and y'all favorite Will Smith. But to see it's what it is, we're going to talk about it today because uh, Brashear is allegedly on OnlyFans busting it wide open for pimp. But <laughs> first, let's talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville, girl. So, bitch, I seen that shit that came out about the girl Jerry Taylor apparently going on um, the content creator's page saying that she was the one who messaged him mail. It wasn't Stormy. And my whole thing is if you just if you just was talking shit and shit like that and you was messaging Mel because she said she DM'd Mel and everything and then Mel blocked her. If you did that poo then, why you ain't talk to Mel when she called the phone? <laughs> why was you being shy? And if that was your homegirl, why when she why when Mel called the phone, why you just didn't answer and talk to her? If you thought that was coleslaw or why you get shook when she answers the phone i don't know i don't know because they talking about suing folks other content creators getting into it with people da, da, da. that ain't got shit to do with me bitch. I, these people make a lot of money i just started making a little pocket change on youtube so some of these content creators y'all they they little checks be nice ain't no way on the weekend i'll be on her beef and talking about <laughs> about some shit that happened whole time Mel don't give a fuck about none of that girl she in, she on vacation at the damn pool waking up uh to to the pool and palm trees and shit every day if y'all didn't think I was gonna get out in this world and enjoy my weekend and have some cocktails <laughs> anyway child so I guess all, a lot of the love and marriage Huntsville people waiting to see if uh, Mel come out and say something next week about um allegedly saying it wasn't stormy or allegedly lying on stormy <laughs> do we know do we know exactly i don't know what we know tell me what y'all think or whatever but i thought that was some petty drama child hopefully they get over it let's talk about destiny dirty ass girl so i was listening to who new channel and she started talking about Destiny uh, interview she did on her channel with uh, another content creator, giving you the real tea, which I listen to him in the morning sometimes. He's funny. Um, so I, you know, went on over there because y'all know I subscribe. I'm subscribed to Destiny channel. She don't be talking about shit on Mental Monday. So, you know, it's giving Wanda too. Like, I'm going to stop listening to this shit because bitches ain't got time. <laughs> I got my own shit to worry about. Exactly. I got to figure out. Uh, girl. <laughs> hey, I low-key got to figure out, am I going to buy me a new camera for the house so I can record some high-quality videos, or am I going to get my eyebrows micro-shaded? <laughs> Are my priorities out of line? <laughs> I don't know, but I can only do one. So, 
next week if y'all see me with some fire ass eyebrows look the other way friend <laughs> look the other way girl or keep subscribing and share my video so i can get a check <laughs> exactly anyway so i went over on destiny channel girl and started listening to this shit this bitch gonna say and i ain't gonna call her no bitch no i'm gonna call her a bitch <laughs> This bitch gonna say <laughs> he started asking her about the comment that she said about Mel and Mar about how she could have had Mel and Martell and shit. Destiny says, Well, if they gonna crucify me, um, if they gonna crucify me for telling the lies for the lies all the time, they might as well crucify me for the truth. Come on, say y'all my hoe. Girl, so you trying to say that that is the truth? Guess what? When Mel when Mel come back, I hope she don't address that stormy shit. I hope she don't address them text messages no more. All I, all I hope she do is file a motion against Wanda and Destiny Payton. Exactly. I girl, I can't wait till the reunion. At this point, I can't wait for the reunion because I'm ready for all of them to just spill all the real tea. Sonny, tell us what the fuck happened with her and LeBaric. Or Mel, you tell us. It's one of y'all tell us. Cause somebody needs to shut her down exactly and the reunion almost here she ain't got no storyline give her her walking papers like LaBeric did <laughs> speaking of LaBeric girl y'all know she ain't pay her twenty thousand dollars or whatever so she filed a new motion to review I guess to review the evidence or let her present some new evidence or whatever and consolidate all of her debts I guess she's trying to dispute the amount of it or something girl I think destiny problem is she thinks she bigger than what she is like when she told Moses I'm still that girl you're not still that girl you owe a lot of money girl you can't pay your bills you giving out free coochie with nothing in return I think she don't she need to be smart enough to know that she could be replaced I think <laughs> after Moses replaced her with Sonny, after LeBeric replaced you with a, I don't know who LeBeric with or whatever, but after he showing your ass through these court documents and shit, <laughs> and suing your ass, girl, Destiny, you need to be humble, ho. You still on her talking about how you could have had Mel and Martell. Girl, you probably could have had Moses. You couldn't. You couldn't secure him in 15 years. What type of D-grade coochie you got, girl? I don't know. This ain't none of my business, though. <laughs> That's all for Love and Mary Chunksville. I see Love and Mary Chunksville, even when they off, child, they never miss a beat with the drama. <laughs> Y'all never miss a beat with the drama. And the crazy part is the content creators, I ain't even gonna lie. I think that they blame they blame the faint Love and Mary Chunksville fans a lot. But to me, the Love and Mary Chunksville fans is the same as the Real Housewives fans. I came on her like last year and said something about Candy. Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta. When I tell you so many girls drag me and call me a dirty bitch from hell. <laughs> so I think on every like, you know, show, like reality show or whatever, people always going to have like diehard fans and people who go hard for their faves and shit like that. I think the problem with Love and Mary Chunksville the majority of it to me be the content creators and the showrunners. The cast had a little hand in it, but the cast only does this much because they know all the content creators going to pick it up and talk about it, beef amongst each other. Uh, <laughs> Mel had to come out and do a peace treaty a few months ago for all of the Melameda content creators and shit. So I be like, oh my God, relax, bitch. <laughs> relax. Exactly. Y'all need to come drink with me. Because after I click off this camera, I be like, <laughs> I be groovy as a motherfucker. Seeing what the boys talking about, girl. You better see what these boys talking about, what the fashions is giving. Exactly what they got on sale on Amazon. <laughs> I can sit on Amazon for like 30, 45 minutes and just add shit to my cart. Have y'all... Have y'all heard of those face lightning masks? Uh, it's like a mask you put on, put on your face or whatever. I heard the red light was the best. Anyway, I just put one in my cart. <laughs> I think tomorrow I gotta buy my niece some uh, dresses for picture day and stuff. But after I do that, I'm getting me a face mask, y'all. My skin gonna be popping. Anyway, fuck me. 
that's all I had to say about love and marriage Huntsville. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about all the drama in the streets about the love and marriage Huntsville stuff. Do y'all think it's the fans that make the show bad or is it the content creators and the showrunners? Prime example of why I said the showrunners. I was, um, y'all know I'm, I'm on Instagram. My friends were like all the cast. Minus Martell and, Ari and Arion. But, um... What was I going to say? So, I was on Tisha page, right? And Tisha posted a video of her daughter. And, you know, I always talk about how she don't promote her daughter hair care stuff or whatever. So, she did a video where she was promoting her daughter hair care stuff. And I, her, her younger daughter, her heart is gorgeous. Her heart is gorgeous, long, thick, healthy, full C. Now, if I had a child, I would buy Tisha's hair care products because it's 4C hair. Because her daughter, well, I don't know if it, it's coarse hair. It's not, you know, whatever. The moral of the story is her daughter was really adorable in the video. Her hair looked really great. You could tell Tisha was doing the mommy thing. And then I'm scrolling on her page. She also posted a video. And shout out to my subscriber, her name, Dion. She be hitting me up on Instagram too. Tisha posted a video like she was in her truck. She was talking about her son, her oldest son, well, her only son, um, wanting to go to homecoming. And she was trying to give him $100 to go ask one of the little girls because she said the girls was in line paying for their ticket to homecoming. And he didn't want to go. He was acting very more so like it's a cute little video or whatever. And I snickled and giggled, even though I do not like Tisha in the tea bags. <laughs> but I like that side of her was much more likable than what they show on the show if they didn't have her focusing so much on being a male hater being jealous being a messy tacky bitch um with her friend destiny them if they actually showed tisha being a house mom or being you know being a stay-at-home mom and her interacting with her kids i think that a lot she would come off as way more likable because I feel like since season one, they've been trying to push her off as this boss business woman. And that's not what she, that's not who she is. She, she fails when she try to copy Mel. Like Wanda, you're trying to push your daughter to be this boss ass bitch, but that's not who she is. You can tell that's not who she is at her core. In, that, in those videos with her kids, that's who Tisha is. And that's who, what she needs to revert back to. And I wonder oh, why aren't the showrunners why y'all not showing this material of Tisha? Because all Tisha ain't had no storyline all season. All Tisha been all season is a messy, tacky bitch. I'm sorry. A messy, tacky bitch with no concealer. I'm sorry, t baggers <laughs> No, but T-Squad, y'all need to reach. Don't, don't come on her beefing with me. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all the truth. The problem is Carlos King in production. The fact that they ain't showing this girl doing the funny mom stuff with her kids and having her kids back and doing all of that other stuff. Exactly. That's that's what y'all need to highlight. And then maybe the Scott-a-lots, maybe she'll have more Scott-a-lots and, <laughs> and they'll buy her t-shirts and buy her products and she'll be a more likable bitch. Exactly. Because right now, she's very unlikable and we damn sure don't like your mammy. But I digress anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about Jennifer motherfucking ass. Remember, I was, I told y'all, we was talking about Jennifer and her uh, jailbird boyfriend or whatever. So, y'all know he got sentenced to 30 days, I think it is. He got sentenced to 30 days in jail for probation violation for going out of the country with her. The judge said, okay, go to jail now, go to your wedding, and then bring your black ass back <laughs> to cell block C and serve the rest of your days so she had her uh wedding this weekend carlos king was there carlos king had a bad carlos king was dressed baby um i know a lot of y'all don't like carlos king and he get on my motherfucking nerves half the time too hating on my good sis male but the motherfucker was dressed <laughs> the motherfucker was dressed so, girl, she went ahead and married that man with a prom dress on. I really thought that I was. Did y'all see the pictures? I expected more. How Jennifer been blowing up this wedding and talking about how much, um, you know, how much it cost and stuff. The setup was nice, but as far as the fashions, 
I, I thought I really thought that Jennifer would give us more because Jennifer has always been a fashion girly. Jennifer has always gave in the fashion department. Now we know she can't read and she can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> and she don't pick good men exactly, but the bitch usually pick good clothes out. I I really her wedding dress was cute. Um, that reception dress gave prom of 1999. I wasn't I was not. Tell me if y'all like uh Jennifer fashions at her wedding. First of all, I was like, after you know that this man is going to jail, his girl said she was girl. It. Everything about it was given desperate. The fact that you even married a man who, as soon as you get back over to the States, got to go um, report and he going to be locked up. You can't even get no after sex. You better get all the sex you can get while you in Paris because as soon as you come home, your man got to go back to jail. He can't even help you open wedding gifts, bitch. Girl, tell me. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So, Evelyn posted a cryptic message, which was shocking. Why wouldn't Evelyn at the wedding like was it if carlos king could come to the wedding why can't evelyn come to the wedding but i guess evelyn so she posted a little message talking about seeing the warning signs and the red flags and yada 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 so i guess that was like shouts out to jennifer and i don't like evelyn with her big ass forehead but in this instance she was right so if some crazy shit happened if evelyn say i told you so she ain't wrong because, bitch, everybody can see it except for you. You the one who got your blinders on. But I guess, girl, go ahead and marry him. Not only is this man broke, light-skinned, getting ready to go back to jail, but he has uh, these types of mannerisms. <laughs> he got these types of I'm sorry. If you even flick your cigarette with a girl, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I am sorry, baby. I've been tainted. And I know a lot of, you know, y'all always trying to make somebody gay. Y'all always trying to make somebody gay. They ain't just always trying to make them gay. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Girl, I didn't had too many fine gay best friends. I'm sorry. I apologize. Blame TJ. Blame Tommy. <laughs> exactly. And they, they, that's their real names, too. <laughs> Two of my best, my ex-best friends was some fine ass gay meals i'm talking about universally fine and i didn't see everybody from athletes to married men to thuggish ruggish bones who sell drugs i didn't see everybody under the sun <laughs> mess with these boys on the down low so i don't know jennifer i don't know baby remember she was dating old boy who ended up in jail for trying to set his cousin up uh, to get killed. Well, not even trying to. He was found guilty of setting his nephew up to get killed. Sweetie Pies. What was his name? Tim Duncan. What was that boy name? Girl, I don't know. Fuck Jennifer. Congratulations, girl, if that's what we gonna call it. Evelyn, you do need to worry about your old ran through coochie and leave Jennifer alone. If she want to be stupid, let her be stupid. You should have went to the wedding and supported. You may call your friend a stupid bitch, but I'm still going to support you through your stupidity. And I'm going to be there when you crying and shit. And I ain't going to tell you I told you so until after you stop crying. Or unless we drinking. <laughs> Then I might go ahead and curse you out and be like, okay, bitch, I already told you and your motherfucking ass ain't listen to me, but we all done been there, so whatever. Anyway, um, lastly, let me just talk about Brashear uh, real quick. So Brashear Gray, aka Hakeem from um, Empire, he posted something talking about new content, boy on boy, only fans with the devil emoji. First and foremost, I don't like that purple devil emoji. Anybody who te I don't text me using that purple devil emoji because I feel like you got some evil ways or you bringing some devilment to me or you sinister. I don't like that sinister shit. Bitch, send me smiley faces, fucking uh, sunshines. I like all of the happy emojis. <laughs> I don't like those damn purple devil emojis. Don't send that shit to my phone. Exactly. And God, we trust over her, girl. Exactly. So, I knew as soon as I seen that purple emoji, I was like, mm, mm I already knew he dipped in the male pond. So, a lot of people was talking about, like, oh, what happened to him, the drugs. They said he had mental health issues or whatever. 
my whole thing is the way that they drag Diddy and the way that they drug Drake. Why don't nobody drag Will Smith? Or why don't nobody even, even when he um hit Chris Rock, everybody defended him as if this man didn't go on stage and assault this man. I don't care what he said about your bald head ass wife. And I like Jada Pinkett. <laughs> we got the same name. <laughs> I like Jada Pinkett. But I didn't think that that was called for. And I love Chris Rock flat out. I love Chris Rock. I love all of his stand-ups. I'm a stand-up girly. Chris Rock not funny in his movies, but his stand-ups are top top three, flat out. Top three stand-ups. Exactly. So, you know there were always rumors that Diddy and Will Smith pimped out Brashear Gray, and that's when he turned that way. They allegedly said that they drugged him to raped him i think he said it in one of his videos that you know he was allegedly messed with and stuff like that and it's not like oh that's wild and it's not believable because the august alcina thing august alcina is gay now we know august alcina is gay and he started out being will and jada friend and the last time we seen brashear looking young and healthy he was with Will Smith at the awards and Will Smith was talking about how he finna mentor this boy and help him out. Will Smith, where are you, where are you now? What happened to your mentorship program? What type of mentorship program is this? Did you just drop him? Once he got dropped from Empire, did the mentorship end? Why didn't he get another role? I mean, you are Will Smith. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether he did it or not. This is all just allegedly. I don't know, you know. I don't know. But what I do know is it's sad that this boy was with the Lee Daniels, the Diddy's, the Will Smith. And then all of a sudden now look at how he turned out. You know what I'm saying? It was such a, a quick decline. It, I don't know, y'all. Even if he do have mental health issues, we... A lot of people got mental health issues. Baby, I got mental health issues. Exactly. There's always psychiatrists, therapists, medication. You know, it's help for everybody out there. So, I don't know. I ain't gonna judge the situation. Tell me what y'all think about the Brashear Gray stuff. I think it's really, really sad. And I feel like nobody's paying attention to his story. It's given Orlando uh, Brown. Is that his name? Orlando Brown or whatever. It's given it some of these... I feel like some of these men in the industry be taking advantage of these young males and then just leave them out to dry once, you know, they use them all up, which is really, really sad. Anyway, yeah, that just down my spirit. <laughs> exactly. Let me go do what I'm going to do. Anyway, it was nice talking to y'all on a Sunday. Um, let me know what y'all think about all the love and marriage. Huntsville, Destiny doubling down on that crazy shit she said about male um tisha jennifer williams and her wedding was you here for the fashions are you here for her marrying him and what did y'all think about what evelyn had to say and carlos king posted a message this morning right he like happy sunday raindrops <laughs> he was like one thing you better do is enjoy your motherfucking life and don't worry about what anybody gotta say and what anybody think about you yada 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 so to me there was shouts out I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it was shouts out to Jennifer because everybody was talking about her marrying him and the Evelyn shit. But Jennifer dropped down in the comments and was like, amen or some shit and like co-signed it because you know she really didn't say anything in in response to what um, Evelyn said. I wonder are they going to talk about it on the reunion, on Basketball Wives reunion? So I wonder, are they going to talk about Jennifer getting married to him when he got to go back to jail? What Evelyn said. And it, is Jennifer and Evelyn going to get into it over this at the reunion? I don't know, y'all. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like this video. I really appreciate y'all coming back to fuck with your girl. Exactly. Your best friend from St. Louis. Love you, girl. Exactly. And I'm going to start doing a few giveaways or whatever to let y'all know that I appreciate y'all. Okay? All right. Bye, girl.